I'm harvesting carrots in containers today. I'm so excited. I have two buckets of carrots. You can see I have them in my Walmart Sam's Club five gallon buckets. And I can't remember the name because the label blew off, but I think they were supposed to be like fingerlings or, you know, short carrots because I wanted to have some success. Let me pull this grate out. I'm not trying to grow really super big carrots, but I can tell I've got carrots. You can see down here, there's my carrots. I know a lot of them are gonna be super shrimpy, but at least I know I've got a couple good ones here. Now, I grew them down in this, uh, I call it my renegade garden because it doesn't really have a fence, but I made a makeshift fence around it so the deer wouldn't eat them. And then the fence fell over, so I moved them up to this uh, stand, which was, of course, meal, uh, height for the deer. I just like gave them a, a, a table full of uh, carrots and they walk right up and they start eating all the green tops. So that's why I knew I had to get them out. Now the two buckets were very different. When I water them, this one pours water out of the holes and this one almost no water comes out of the holes. So I think everything's the same size. I don't know why that happened except that I use different kinds of soil mixtures all the time and I think this one was two weeks later and it was a more dense, this was a more dense soil. So anyway, the, the results could be very different. This one I purposefully planted the seeds an inch or so apart. Okay, this one I just sprinkled. <laughs> you can see it's really dense. I sprinkled seeds all over because I haven't, I've only grown carrots once and I, well, I'll tell you that story in a minute. I never got to harvest them. So I'm not sure which works better, but we'll see. I'm going to them, dump them into my wheelbarrow in just a second. So that, that's my two buckets. So let's go over to the wheelbarrow and we'll show you what we found. Okay, here we go. This is the first time I've ever tripod, or put a tripod up next to my um, wheelbarrow, so I hope this works. But here we go. I'm going to pull out the one that looks like the biggest. Oh, the top just came off. Let's try another one. They're really densely packed. They're up. All the greens are coming off. The tops are coming off. I can't get one to pull out. So, okay. Well, ah, uh, they're... Oh, they're not, they're not bad. They're pretty good size. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I have carrots. Some of them are coming up, and then I'll just dump the whole bucket. Oh, my gosh. What a victory. Even though they're really small, I'm so happy with them, because at least I know I can get them growing in containers like this. And I usually would do um, juice the greens, but these are so eaten up by the deer and they're kind of shriveled up, I won't even juice the greens. And these aren't gonna be fantastic in the juicer because they're so small, but I will eat them with great joy. Oh wait, here's the ta this tag that had been buried. What is that? Baby little fingers, yep. Carrot baby little finger. So here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Look at all these carrots. They're baby little fingers, just like little fingers. Look at those. Oh, I can't wait to grow bigger ones next year, now that I know I can do it. Okay. I have a feeling you're not getting to see me pull these out, and I'm gonna check this, and I apologize if you can't but I'll show you at the end. I'm gonna pull them all out. And uh, here we go. I did it, little carrots. All right. Got them all piled up here so you can see them. That looks like about all of them. Okay, I'm just gonna hold them up. Can you see that? Lots of baby carrots. Okay. Now we'll do the next one. I'm gonna recheck and see if you got to see how much of that you could actually see. Hold on. Oh, 
Okay, here we go for bucket number two. Now this is the one that did not drain as well. Actually, I'll try and pull some out. Yeah, good looking ones. Oh, beautiful. The, yeah, these are coming out a lot easier, but this one didn't drain as well. Go figure, can't figure that out. Got some little shrimpy ones. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Last year was the first year I actually grew carrots, and I grew them in a smart pot. I think it was about a 15 gallon one. And I could tell when I pulled them out, they were like way smaller than this one. They were really teeny, so I kept waiting in September and then October, and I traveled a lot. I took four trips, went up to Canada, to Niagara Falls, got married, went to Europe, went to uh, London, and every time I come back from a trip, I say, oh, I gotta pull my carrots out, I gotta pull my carrots out. And I kept looking at them and they were like super small. So I kept, you know, waiting and waiting and then by November and then by December, I, I got to them and they were, they all had died. <laughs> so I felt kind of bad, but they were, I mean, literally like this size, they were only that small. So I was, I was glad I traveled, it was worth it. Let's see if these are the same ones. Yeah, these are little fingers too, baby little fingers. Um, so I really did grow carrots last year, but I didn't ever harvest them. But this year I'm harvesting. Okay, so let's get that dumped. Okay, where are they? Oh, that's a good size one. You know what? I planted these all far apart on the second bucket. But these didn't do any better, so I'm going to sprinkle them and, and, and cram them packed in the, in the soil next year, uh, like the first bucket. I got a lot more out of the first bucket because I, obviously I just sprinkled and I filled the soil. Let's see what else I have in here. So both methods worked, you know, of methodically planting them an inch or two apart and just sprinkling and coating the whole top of the, of the soil. But I like that method better because I got a lot more carrots. Oh yeah, a lot more. Like I would say I got four times more carrots in the first bucket where I sprinkled seeds, a lot of seeds, and or than I did on the, the first one. Okay, that looks like it. I'm gonna take these and rinse them. Look at all that. I couldn't be happier, baby fingers. So next year I'm going to plant bigger ones. And I'll do these again, because they're kind of gratifying. These would have been good to eat as I went, but I wanted to have a full harvest and really get to see what I could do with carrots. Because of course I juice them a lot, and I'd much rather have big, thick, you know, 12 inch long carrots, huh? and that's what I'm gonna do next year. I'm gonna probably get about 30 or 40 more buckets and have carrots planted uh, in succession. So I have, you know, carrots all through September, October, November. So I'm um, very excited. Let me uh, put you on pause here for a second. I'm gonna rinse them off and show you the final result. Okay, here's the final result. Aren't they beautiful? I don't know how many pounds that is. Maybe three or four, maybe five pounds. But I am super pleased with them. Here's the size, just like a finger, just like it said, baby fingers, little fingers. Now I won't juice these, like I said, because I would juice them all in one juice or two juices and I want to get more long-standing pleasure from them. So I'm going to eat them and put them in salads and make them last several weeks because I'm so tickled. So anyway, you can grow carrots in little five bucket, five gallon buckets. And I got these buckets for free. Watch for another video on my uh, YouTube channel about how to get all your buckets for free. And it's just so gratifying to grow carrots. And of course, carrots are so great to juice. I'm a happy girl. Oh, and I will use the, reuse the soil. Um, this is only my second season. This That was the first season on this soil, and I'll reuse it, add about one-third more of fresh soil and all my amendments next season. So I'll just pop it back in there. So anyway, are you growing carrots in containers? Do you have any specific tips? And what's your favorite type of carrot to grow in containers? Do you actually get the big, you know, long 10, 8, 10, 12 inch carrots in containers or you just do baby ones like this? Drop down in the comment section if you would and let us all know what is your favorite carrot to grow in containers. All right, thanks so much for being with me. Give us a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. Appreciate you being with me. Bye-bye.